In this video, I'm going to show you how to download a NetLibrary ebook onto your iPad. But before you start, you will need to do a few things. First, create a My EBSCO account. This is required for downloading from NetLibrary. You can do this by going into any EBSCO resource, such as NetLibrary, and clicking on Sign In at the top. Click on Create New Account. This account is not connected with your HPU username and password. Second, Download the latest version of Adobe Digital Editions onto your computer and create an Adobe ID. Adobe Digital Editions must be installed in order to download items and view them offline. Next, download the free Blue Fire Reader app onto your iPad through the App Store. You will be asked to put in your Adobe ID, ID so that you can transfer items from Adobe Digital Editions to Blue Fire. Finally, make sure that the latest version of iTunes is installed on your computer. You may want to pause the video here and complete these steps before continuing. Once you've completed these steps, you are ready to begin. We can now go to NetLibrary and choose the book we would like to download. Not all NetLibrary ebooks are available to download and view offline. Books available to download will have this option list listed somewhere in the record. Once you are ready, click on Download this ebook. If you are not already signed into your EBSCO account, you will be asked to log in. Once we are logged in, it will give us the option to download the book. We can choose our checkout period up to seven days. It also tells us what format the book will be in. If you have not installed Adobe Digital Editions at this point, you can do so here. From here, I will click on Check Out and Download. This tells me that the book was checked out successfully. And somewhere on your screen, you will be prompted to download and save the ebook file. In the Chrome browser, that is down at the bottom, in Firefox, you may have a uh, download box pop up asking you to download that file. In other browsers, it may look different. I'm going to click on the file down here which will open the item in Adobe Digital Editions. I will now download my item into my library. I can view the item in Adobe Digital Editions on my computer, but if I want to transfer it to my iPad, I need to do a few additional steps. First, I need to find out where the Adobe eBook files are being stored. Your file should be stored under your My Documents in a folder entitled Digital Editions. However, if you cannot locate the files, you can find out the location by going to Adobe Digital Editions, going to your library, going to the title you are interested in, and clicking on Item Info. This will give you the file path and the location of your item. Next, you want to open iTunes and connect your iPad to the computer. Once your iPad appears in iTunes, click on it. Then click the Apps button at the top. Under File Sharing, you should see the Blue Fire Reader listed. Click on it, and then click on Add beneath Blue Fire Reader Documents to add the book file to your Blue Fire Reader documents. It will ask you to navigate to your book's location and then choose it from the items listed. To update your iPad and the app, and therefore add the file to your iPad, click on either Sync or Apply at the bottom of the screen. Now open the Blue Fire Reader app on your iPad and choose the library. You should see your downloaded book there. 